What's up, Gemini's, aka Gemini Gang, aka God's favorite. <laughs> so this is gonna be a um click click quick love read for you guys. Okay, I already see what kind of reading this is gonna be. Um Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also check your Jupiter, your North Node, what signs in your seventh house, all right? It's not going to resonate with every single Gemini energy that watches. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. All right. Personal readings in the description box, guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. All right. So, let's see what comes out. Ooh. Uh, so, we got true love comes out. Mm-hmm. And then we have soulmates. Okay. So on the true love card, it says this is a romance of a lifetime. Oh, wow. Gemini's, let's see what's happening. I don't know. Sometimes spirit be getting our hopes up and then boom. We'll see though. We'll see though. Oh, but you got to release your ex for some of you. This could be the one on the bottom. Mm hmm We gonna see <laughs> how this energy pans out. Because it's already looking um, pretty good. So, you never know what us, though. Whoa. Okay. Wow, guys. The judgment card comes out. The death card. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, some more cards was already. The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> the Page of Wands uh, on the bottom of the deck. So, some of you guys might be getting rid of, um, a past person you guys um wow guys hold on all right guys my neighbors are starting to wake up and making too much noise you know they be getting tired of my ass <laughs> so um gemini's wow y'all i'm seeing you guys are going through a major uh transformation like man like this judgment and death you guys is this is something major um you guys could have also gone through something um that was very painful that's going to bring you um success uh later it was a lesson that you needed to learn um in order to uh be able to move forward uh Gemini. I'm seeing a lot of you. Something flipped over. The Ace of Wands again, guys. Seriously? <sighs> yes. Gemini, whatever you went through is going, it is birthing something new, if that makes sense. There's a birth here of some sort. Um, yeah. Could be a, of a soulmate energy. Um, you guys, some of you guys might be meeting someone that is going to change your life um, in a good way. And I feel like um, some of you guys had to learn some really harsh lessons from a uh, an ex, a past person, um, in order to be ready for this next uh, partner. Some of you guys learned some very, very hard, harsh lessons. Um... Some of you guys, it, it might have been harder than others, but I'm seeing, you know, whatever you went through is was worth it. It may not seem like it now, or it may not have seemed like it at that time. The tower, guys, yeah. Woo, so the judgment and the death, guys, usually gives me, like, tower energy. Like, this is, this is like, massive. This is, like, a huge metamorphosis here um, that something you went through caused. And it could have been someone that you thought was a true love soulmate type situation.
the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. King of Swords. Okay, so yeah, you guys are dealing with someone that is um, not afraid to work, not afraid to, or you will be dealing with someone that's not afraid to put in some work. Um, I'm also seeing someone that's been working on themselves. Whoever this is I'm picking up on is more than likely single. Gemini, or you're single. Take it how it resonates. Um, Gemini, ooh, I'm loving the energy so far. Um, but I am seeing a past person trying to come back to uh, fix things with you. I am seeing that. I'm going to pull some more cards, though, to kind of see what the fuck. Because I'm seeing two energies here. Mm-hmm. We have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like, Gemini, you're going to have more than one person that is willing to put in work with you. One of these people is a past person. And I feel like one of these people, oh, the true love and the soulmate could be two different people. Let me pull some more cards. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, see, dang, I knew it. Eight of Swords comes out. Mm-hmm. I knew there was two different energies. The Hangman. Yep. The Five of Swords. Ooh. With the Five of Cups on the bottom. Gemini. Not only did you go through a major transformation, whoever this ex is or this past energy is went through one as well. They went through... The <sighs> Gemini, I feel like they're seeing things from a totally different perspective. I'm also feeling like they're not sure how they can um, reconcile. Um, because I feel like what they feel like, Gemini, is, if, is they've done so much damage that it, it's there's nothing that that can be done this person doesn't know how to come out of this uh energy with you this this five of swords conflict energy energy with you they don't know how this person knows and i feel like a lot of uh for whoever this resonates with gemini they have done so much damage um to the point where you probably don't even respect them anymore. You don't look at them the same. They they know that. They know you don't look at them the same way anymore. But they want to start fresh. Even if it's friends, guys. Because see, oh my gosh, y'all. What's crazy is the Ace of Wands is here twice. The Eight of Pentacles. That's why I know it's two energies, uh, Gemini, for you here. Okay. This, this newer energy you may not have met yet. Some of you have, okay? But there's a past energy here as well. And this person, with this five of swords being under release your ex, this person doesn't want you to release them at all. And, I'm, and I feel like they're willing to fight for a spot in your life. Because this person has gone through some things as well. Um, they may have gone through some um, some bullshit uh, within a partnership or within, uh, you know, their family or whatever the case may be. This person has gained some type of enlightenment. And Gemini, if you feel like this person isn't hurt as much as you, you are, you are mistaken. Because this person, whenever y'all separated, were, was just as hurt as you were. I feel like they just hit it better I feel like this person uh Gemini will will literally take anything like they they'll take any type of <laughs> the empress on the bottom listen when I tell you Gemini this person will take anything from you. And, and what I mean is, they'll take any spot in your life. 
whether it's a friend, whether it's an acquaintance, they just want to be able to like communicate with you again and talk to you again. Um, I feel like this person really like values your energy, even though they didn't, they may not have ever said that, but this person has gotten some type of wake up call and now they're looking at things in a different way as well. Yep. Seven of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> I'm taking it, spirit. I'm taking it. Queen of Wands. I kept seeing I kept seeing this whenever I was shuffling. Like this fell out like three or four times. So some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Um, and the lovers, guys. Yes, yeah, see, could be an Aries, another Gemini like you, or a Sagittarius for a lot of you. But I feel like um, some of you guys might be shocked by um, by this person coming back forward. Because I feel like, man, whatever this person did, you completely lost respect for them. For them, like you don't see them the same way. Something happened between you two. Whatever this Five of Swords is, something happened between you two that made you like look at this person completely differently and they realize that yep this person wants you to um <laughs> this person doesn't want you to release them uh gemini and i feel like this is someone that you have like a lot of passion with you have a really uh passionate connection with this person um this person puts you on a pedestal like they see you as this vibrant um magnetic uh like i said they they thrive on your energy gemini they want your energy in their life no matter what we're seeing the queen of pentacles again child gemini <laughs> The Eight of Wands on the bottom. Listen, if you ever doubt that this person wants to reach out or will reach out uh, for whoever this resonates with, expect communication from this person, okay? Because they don't want to miss out on you. This person doesn't want to miss out on you. And they may have been uh, trying to entertain other people too. This person may have also like tried to make you compete for them as well. And you just wasn't having it. Hmm. King of Wands. We have the King and the Queen of Wands here. Child and the Devil as well. <sighs> Gemini, let me say this. <sighs> this person's not going to take too lightly to, to being cut out of your life. I'm just going to say that. Um... Yeah, th this person isn't going to take it isn't going to take it too lightly. But I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of trying to move towards the newer person and a newer energy. I, I feel like they see this. They see that you are ready to move on to someone else. Yeah. And they ain't feeling that at all. Yeah, see messages of some sort. The devil again on the bottom, y'all. This person may reach out with like something like um, sexual for some of you. <laughs> That's not going to be for all of you, but I, I feel like this person is so passionate. This person has a lot of passion um, to where it's, it's damn near obsession, you guys. Obsession. And like I said, they're willing to compete for you. They're willing to get rid of all of your options. They're willing to fight your options, Gemini. They're willing to get rid of them for you. They're not feeling that. They're not feeling the fact. And I feel like, Gemini, they're not going to tell you this. This person is also thinking, I've got this for you guys before. This person thinks about you being sexual with other people. And it just, it, they burn, it just burns the ass. They don't, they hate that very strange energy 
because it ain't no ain't no telling who they messing around with but they are so focused and fixated on who you're sleeping with ciao <laughs> Because this person knows you sexy as hell, Gemini. They know that. And they know a lot of people find you sexy and attractive. Mm-hmm. The queen of wands and the lovers? Come on now. <laughs> this person knows you're a catch. This person knows people are checking for you. Yeah. And like I said, Gemini, this person puts you on a pedestal. Both of these people do. We have the queen of pentacles here two times. You have two people here, I feel like, that might feel like you're their, their partner, their soulmate, their true love, or whatever the case may be. Two people, two different people, Gemini, for whoever this resonates, resonates with. I'm seeing two energies here, okay? So, um, yeah. I'm getting a more, one energy, though, I feel like might be the newer energy, might feel like you're not interested in them or something. Yeah, I, I feel like one of the energies here feels like you're you're kind of closed off. And you might be Gemini, because I feel like a lot of you guys have this past person still in your energy. Some of you guys need to do an energy release. It does say that here, the time has come to clear your energy, Gemini. So if you want a new person, you're going to have to get this person as much out of your energy as you can control. Because you can't control it 100%. Because this person is going to constantly pop up. They're going to constantly be thinking about you. They're going to constantly be fantasizing about you. They're going to constantly be dreaming about you. That's not going to stop. And like I said, this person is obsessed with being with you and for a lot of you it's sexually because they are extremely attracted to you to the point where it's it's kind of creepy <laughs> it's a little creepy guys but i feel like gemini you are transforming to to the point where a lot of you aren't going to deal with this past person again because of their ways a lot of you have outgrown this connection and if they're not, um, if they haven't evolved enough, you're not even going to deal with them. You got two people here, though, that are willing to work things out with you. They Two people here that are actually, look as I'm shuffling. Can we at least be friends? What I tell you, Gemini. This past person is going to ask to be friends. if Because I feel like a lot of you guys, you're going to turn them down. But this person wants you in their life by any means. And they have this energy. They they have this kind of delusion that if y'all are friends, then they can work their way up back to this uh, queen and king of wands energy. But a lot of you, what they fail to realize is a lot of you might be interested in someone else already. Gemini, this person is, ooh, y'all, cards are going everywhere. This person is too obsessed, Gemini, to just be friends with you. So even if they do offer that, that's not what they want in the end. They want it to turn back into what, what y'all had. And for some of you guys, what fell out and flipped over? I'm not, I told you, I'm not going anywhere. This person's not going anywhere, Gemini. They want to be in your life no matter what. A fucking fire sign. Didn't I, didn't I keep saying that? Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign. Elite Aries Leo Sag Summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fear of sensual intimacy. Yep. Some of y'all know that already. Can't Let Go by Anthony Hamilton. This person can't release you. Way More Close by Young Blue and Big Sean. Mm-hmm. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, man. I miss you so much. It hurts. Listen, Gemini. I love the way you look at me. What About Us by Eric Bellinger. Mm -hmm. Lifetime by Maxwell. See, we keep. I have two different lifetime cards, and I've seen both of them a lot for you guys. I want to be, t I don't want to be tied down right now. I want to explore Gemini. I feel like some of this, this might be y'all's energy right now. 
and I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Or this could be um, how one of these energies felt at first. So take it how it resonates, but I'm seeing options for you, Gemini. I'm seeing you're kind of exploring your options until you find what you want. My heart is open and I'm ready. And I feel like a lot of you guys aren't just jumping into connections like you used to. You're, you're kind of weighing things out. Um, you're kind of trying to see how they move first before you just offer a commitment. <sighs> Didn't I say this? I miss being intimate with you. Yeah, this, this person thinks about it a lot. I love you more than you realize. Can we at least be friends? Shows up again. I told y'all. I love you by Drew Hill. And your smile lights up my day. All right, Geminis, that's y'all's love reading. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Peace out.